My mate got a job as a human cannonball last month and when they fired him, oh, he went ballistic. True story. Right then, folks, I believe it was Napoleon Bonaparte who once said that um, the coward dies many times, whereas the brave man only dies the once, and we all know what he meant. A bag of shit, a, a, a weak manlet woman, even, will do underhanded stuff, um, run away from fights, flee, backstab, and they die every time they, they do stuff like this because they know every time they run away or backstab or tell tales or do cowardly stuff, they, they die inside. There's nothing brave, there's nothing manly about that. Whereas the manly man, you know, he will face up to the odds, adversity, have a can-do attitude, never backs down, a see your enemy, deal with the enemy kind of guy or woman or whatever the hell you identify as. And when they die physically, that's it, they're dead. And that's the only time a brave man truly dies. Now, a coward, probably the most um, perfect example of one where it comes to world leaders today, and I use the term leader loosely, is Justin Trudeau. Now, Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada and the little weasel. And that's what he is. He is a archetypal, left-wing, socialist, weak, spineless amoeba, bag of shit who has just literally run away with his family from the capital of Canada, Ottawa, because truck drivers have brought the city to a standstill. And they're not violent. There's nothing like they just turned up there. They're not moving their trucks, tractors, wherever they're driving because they want their country back. They want their freedoms back. These people, even though it's reported that at least 90% of these people who've gone there to protest with their vehicles have had the jab. They're not against the jab, they're against the draconian discriminatory um, mandate. And this mandate has been brought in by Justin Trudeau and his government. And what he has done is quite unprecedented, really. I'm saying unprecedented. The New Zealand Premier, Jacinda Ardern, has done exactly the same thing as does the idiot in charge of Australia. And Macron tried it in France, but failed miserably and what he tried to do was divide the people and reduce people who have refused the jab for whatever reason to second class citizens and the last time we saw stuff like this in the west in a first world free democracy was in germany 1930s and we all know how that panned out so the bag and his family have gone into hiding nobody knows where probably in a hole somewhere. And it's just ironic, isn't it? Dictators who treat their people like shit and divide them. People like Saddam Hussein, um, Colonel Gaddafi, etc. They all went into hiding and they were all found in holes and we all know what happened to them. But Justin Trudeau is no different. He is a filthy, vile, weak, and I can't help to press on the fact that he is a, a coward, a weak, Weak, cowardly, manlet, he's an amoeba, he is a spineless, he is the kind of guy who would call people names at school, then hide behind his hired help, uh, suck up to the big lad who felt sorry for him. We had a guy like that in my regiment, I remember, um, a proper bag of shit, but there we go. <laughs> and if there was an opportunity, if there was ever a chance, perfect chance for a world leader, I use the term leader with Trudeau loosely, to show his statesmanship, show his bravery, to show that he's willing to listen and compromise it is now. He could have easily gone and seen these truckers, tell them, well, this is why I've got the mandate. Why don't you think we should have the mandate? And they would tell him. These truckers are the Canadians' voices, the people who have been reduced as second-class citizens simply because um, they haven't had the jab and that's why they're doing this like I said they're not anti-jab they're anti-mandate because the mandate is discriminatory uh, it, it's, it, it's got to be illegal I mean why the hell would you reduce 
the rights of people simply because they refuse to take a medical procedure is beyond me. That's just that's just something out of a book. But no, he's gone into hiding. He's in the shadow somewhere, the cowardly bag of wank that he is. And not only has he just gone into hiding and refused to talk, but he's come out. He's condemned them <laughs> for what they're doing. And there was a crowdfunding campaign to support these truckers, a GoFundMe. And they raised in between five to ten million Canadian dollars to help them out. But he instructed GoFundMe, the left-wing um, funding organisation for left-wing causes mainly, um, to stop it and to distribute all the money to things like Greenpeace, Black Lives Matter and Planned Parenthood. I mean, how despicable is that? I can guarantee you the people who are sceptic of the jab, anti-mandate, pro-freedom, they would not be supporting things like Planned Parenthood, uh, Planned Parenthood or Black Lives Matter. Greenpeace, meh. So that's what GoFundMe did. They froze the assets, but thankfully, and I'm, I can't confirm this, but I've seen it on social media, whispers, etc., on the grapevine, that GoFundMe are going to refund the money to the people who donated rather than this year out to terrorist groups like Black Lives Matter, um, Planned Parenthood, not a terrorist group, by the way, uh, and Greenpeace, not a terrorist group. They're just an annoyance. And GoFundMe came up with a statement that said that while they believe the Freedom Convoy protest was initially peaceful, they now have evidence from law enforcement that the previously peaceful demonstration has come, uh, has become an occupation with police reports of violence and other unlawful activity. Well, you can't find footage of violence or other unlawful activity. They're sat in their trucks. Um, you've got people coming up to them, give them food. You've got um, Polish immigrants coming over giving them food and drinks and saying we've just left a communist country we, we knew what communism was like we've come to Canada we believe it was a free country but it's not you know under a socialist dictatorship like um, Trudeau was brought it it's reminding them of that horrible terrible era where communism and socialism doesn't work so they're supporting these these people these freedom um, driving truckers but what you can see footage of is just people talking and clearing the snow from the paths which are on the streets of Ottawa, which they are blocking so that elderly people and others can go about their business. So while GoFundMe froze this account now, and I hope they do refund the people who gave them the money, um, they, you know, they, they still fund Black Lives Matter. You know, a group, a terrorist group that burned and looted and murdered in cities for three months. And there's also a despicable Antifa terrorist group called Riot Kitchen, and they've been arrested and everything by US Marshals while planning attacks on cities and filling fuel cans in order to do petrol bombs. Their GoFundMe is still active. Why is that? But most despicable of all, uh, GoFundMe, they froze the funds of a child's heart surgery after finding out that he supports the truckers' protest that tells you everything about GoFundMe. GoFundMe, of course, they were used by friends and supporters of a friend of this channel, Lee Williams, crossed the Rubicon, because uh, the lefties down there, the idiots, they got him sacked from his job. Then they tried to get him legally kicked out of the country for violating immigrant um, charter, whatever it is. Even though they're lefties on social media now who do that on a daily basis. Um, they set up a GoFundMe to help him and they raised, I think, $5,000 or $10,000 to help him out. Of course, the lefties then protested and petitioned GoFundMe and that was frozen as well. So even though they had Lee Williams sacked from his job, they wanted to get him kicked legally out of the country. They also wanted to ruin his life and not give him a chance of starting again. How despicable, how cowardly. Now, whilst I'm keeping an eye on the truckers on a daily basis, because I'm interested in stuff like this, I hope they will stay there um, until they get what they want, peacefully. Take notes, Black Lives Matter. This is how you get things done, not by rioting, murdering and looting. So they will stay there. Justin Trudeau will step away and hopefully um, they will get him removed because this guy isn't fit to lead a nation. Uh, demonising people, dividing people, it's just something that happened years ago. You thought we'd have learned from 1930s Germany, but 
obviously some world leaders didn't and well social they're all socialists all these world leaders who are treating their people like shites dividing them and reducing people who haven't had the job to second-class citizens they're socialists that's the pattern that's the link socialism um you know left-wing politics woke progressive nonsense they are a horrible nasty destructive people and they need to be brought to account i i truly believe trudeau for what he has done needs to be legally brought to account drag the little man lit from his hole put him on trial and whatever he needs to be fucking dealt with he really does a long time in the clink for you know i think this is a crime against humanity isn't it forcing your people uh, to take a medical procedure when they have the absolute god-given right not to have it uh, and then reducing them to second-class citizens and taking their freedoms away unless they do that's horrible this is 2022 it shouldn't be happening and i am so glad that there are truckers out there like the ones protesting in ottawa i think there's going to be another one in australia soon drive to canberra i believe uh, and something's happening in france or something's always happening in france they will protest and riot at the drop of a baguette then people over there they really will and that's what we need but there we go trudeau a coward a coward to the end i reckon and that's the video that's what i think please let me know what you think in the comments um you can join me on getter social media app just like twitter but it's better you can say what you want lefties can cry 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 there's nothing they can do about it tough titties they can stick to their twitter and if you like what i do if you want to support my channel and by all means you can buy me a beer the link's down below and that's that so comment share subscribe and until the next video have a good weekend and a roger trout but do you want to come on what the hell do you want oh. <gasps> no did you see that what? his missus just smacked him over the head and